Your relationship has a better chance of surviving even the most terrible transgressions if you and your spouse still love each other and can express it. Successful couples are sensitive to one another's love languages because they are expressing I love you in a manner that genuinely connects with their spouse. This way, it's simpler to overcome disagreement and reconnect. Learn and use each other's love language on a regular basis. Yes, learn it. Whether it's via words of affirmation, gifts, quality time, acts of service, or even physical contact, just make sure you express it. For a couple to develop and define a new stronger and more dedicated future together, they must accept responsibility for the gaps and chasms in their relationship. Social media has made it simple to compare ourselves to others and swipe right or left on any possible partner. We're told that if we uncover a defect or treachery in a partner, we must find someone else. What a lot of choices there really are. For women who pride themselves on their independence and authority, there's a lot of shame that goes on for remaining in a relationship when the male cheats. A supportive group of friends and family may help you heal fences with your significant other, rather than those who make harsh remarks or push you to break up with them. In the end, the relationship will not repair itself. If you have attempted to address your partner's hesitation and resistance, but he or she rejects any responsibility for his or her behavior, refuses to change or invest the energy into working through it, and is reluctant to put in the effort or go to therapy, it may be time to walk away. As long as the aforementioned criteria are in place, practically every problem can be fixed. However, there is one problem that cannot be remedied. That is physical or mental abuse. Yes, these habits can be changed, but it's not worth the risk to wait around and hope. Now I have a question. Can God restore your relationship? A person may change. As a broad rule, the vast majority of people think that people can change, but when it comes to specific individuals, it appears impossible. Never give up is the motto for today. Never give up. Never stop trying. People have the ability to change for the better. If you've had a disagreement with someone and nothing has changed, it's difficult, if not impossible, to reconcile. For the most incredible results occur when things shift. Never stop trying. When the spirit of God resides in a person, freedom ensues. God gives us freedom to do what is right, to change, and allow him to shape and develop us into the people he wants us to be. The human condition is malleable, looking to become more like Christ. Here's everything you need to know. Never give up on others, just as God never gave up on you. Individual metamorphosis has occurred in some of you. As a trophy of grace, you serve as a live demonstration of what happens when the Holy Spirit takes possession of a person. Another point to consider is the following. Not only may others change, but you have the ability to change as well. We, who all have exposed faces that reflect the Lord's brightness, are being changed into his image as his splendor grows in our midst. If you wish to repair a damaged relationship, it is true that people can change, but it is also true that you can change. Perhaps this is the more significant insight. The Lord is totally responsible for the transforming process. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to save us because we are unable to alter our own actions. The gift of salvation is a priceless treasure, but the work of change in your life does not end there. You will be continually molded and changed by the Lord if you allow him to do so. People have the ability to change. Never give up on them. No matter how difficult the situation seems to be, you, too, can do it. Never give up on your dreams or goals. Does it occur to you that you are already at the pinnacle of your abilities? Don't be so naive as to believe that the Lord has given up on you. Therefore, don't give up on yourself. You will be transformed on a constant basis by the Lord. It makes no difference what your age is. It makes no difference what your background is. It makes no difference what happened in the past. It is not possible to be so horrible that there is no hope. There is always hope when you put your trust in the Lord. You have the potential to become a prize of grace, a shining example of what the Lord can accomplish to transform a person. It is possible to make a difference.
minutes. Full healing will only come about via radical change and evolution. Paul does not give up, and he is arguing that you can be transformed by the Spirit of God, just as I may be changed by the Spirit of God. When a damaged relationship is repaired, it does not imply a return to the way things were before. Isn't that what we tend to envision when we think of healing? It is more likely that a relationship will be better if restoration implies that one or both parties in the partnership have changed for the better. It implies that there will be more depth. In order to convey this idea, when a young couple first gets married, they are led to believe that no one else in all of history has ever loved each other more than they do. It's one of God's magnificent illusions that he allows us to experience, and it's probably beneficial to us. But then there's tension, and difficulties arise, and yet, when everything is worked out and the two gets back to a meeting of the mind, the most incredible thing happens. It's as if the couple has grown even more in love with one another. What caused this to occur? When God transforms individuals and restores broken relationships, he never says, it's as good as it was before. It is God's credo that better than ever is the case. After going through all of the pain of a disagreement with someone, the prize you will get when you come out on the other side will be death. God will provide you with the power the hope, and the faith you need. So never give up because individuals are capable of changing. The Lord's gift of metamorphosis is a wonderful thing. The Lord will use you to showcase his glory to others around you. Do not give up on other people, and do not give up on yourself because you may change and become a prize of grace as well. And the most remarkable things happen when God transforms individuals. The transformation takes them from a state of servitude to a state of liberty. And freedom is a gift from God including the freedom to be different, the freedom to do what is good, and the freedom to live one's life. As soon as the Lord gives you his spirit, the Lord will declare, better than ever. Broken relationships may be repaired because God has the ability to transform individuals via the power of his spirit. Even me, yes, and even you too. Even if you don't agree with one another's behavior, it's important to keep the broader picture in mind and remember that you still love each other, even while certain problems are more difficult to overcome than others. The outcome of your relationship will be decided by how you deal with those difficulties. Your lover cheating on you is obviously not your responsibility. That being stated, it is critical to examine all aspects on both sides in every given case. Because it is possible that your spouse has a lack of commitment or control over his or her impulses. It's also possible that you've been emotionally cold. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.